All right, carbamazepine. Here we have the magazine. And as you can see, it says carbamazepine. But we're actually going to call it the Carbom Magazine. Now, normally in magazines, they don't have videos. In this one, we're going to see a video. Let's take a look. As we enter, we see the double-headed polar bear, which reminds us of bipolar, that carbamazepine is used to treat bipolar. And the lady sitting near the car that's about to explode has the three gems on her face, which reminds us of trigeminal neuralgia as carbamazepine is used to treat trigeminal neuralgia, and this often shows up on exams. In fact, the answer might be oxcarbazepine, which is a structural analog of carbamazepine. But anyway, here we have the car with the bomb inside. Remember, car bomb, which we're reading about in the magazine, for carbamazepine. So here we have the car with the bomb in it. You may have noticed the license plate CYP450. And this reminds us that carbamazepine is a CYP450 inducer. Now, when the bomb exploded, we noticed a nearby pedestrian, who happens to be a robot over here. This guy over here having a seizure reminds us that carbamazepine is technically an anti-epileptic. This is not such a high yield point. What's very high yield is this sign over here, a grain sign, a sign with grain on it that sits on the floor. So a grain sign that sits for a granulocytosis. A granulocytosis is the most feared adverse effect of carbamazepine. And then we got to the bus that passed by with the tarantula on top. This tarantula shows up in videos of drugs that are teratogenic. As carbamazepine is teratogenic, and babies born to mothers taking carbamazepine can develop defects. Now, carbamazepine can actually induce Steven Johnson syndrome. Not sure if you missed this, but the author of our magazine over here is actually Steven Johnson, which reminds us of Steven Johnson syndrome. In terms of mechanism of carbamazepine, not sure if you caught this, but it was actually a salt shaker, or a sodium shaker, that was being blocked by the car that exploded. As the mechanism of carbamazepine is sodium blockade, it blocks sodium channels. The last thing that we need to know about carbamazepine, which I didn't put in this scene, is SIADH, Syndrome of Inappropriate Release of ADH. And the reason is because we're going to have this in our ADH video. But just remember that carbamazepine can induce SIADH. Alright, so in summary, carbamazepine is used for bipolar and trigeminal neuralgia. It's a cytochrome P450 inducer. It can cause a granulocytosis. It's a teratogen. It can cause Steven Johnson syndrome, as well as SIADH. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on carbamazepine. Stay tuned for some major updates at ajmonix.com coming in the next few months. And take care.